Santa Claus in the Marvel Universe, he's technically a mutant in this verse, like the other mutants that we know and love. His occupation is a gift bringer. No surprise here that Marvel Santa Claus is a legendary figure, similar to how people call him a legendary figure in real life. Some kids, bless their hearts, still believe he's real. In Marvel Universe, Santa Claus was actually giving existence by humanity's belief in deeds of three different characters in history. These three different people who believe together created the true magical being of Santa Claus. This is how the Marvel Santa Claus actually originated. So that's a lot of spiritual belief to create a whole being after these myths, right? There's some guys throughout history that exist that did gift giving, but eventually created the true magical Santa Claus like from myth. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Look at this fun stuff. You get a history of his full lore right here. St. Nicholas, 4th century. They even believed that St. Nick had a legend of Odin. Yeah, it gets crazy. Like, they thought he was Odin. Like, I know. See what I mean? Nicholas, St. Christopher, North Pole, Power Grid, Speed. Look how high his speed is because of traveling on the sled. Ouch. I love seeing our favorite characters dressed up in Christmas type stuff, right? Helps you get more of the spirit. Another theory about Santa Claus is that origin of him comes from pre-medieval Britain. It was said it was some type of normal thing among tribes for the community elder to dress up in fur as a character called Old Winter. Yeah, the theory just go on in Marvel. Giving food and drink. This tradition survived for many, many years. Then after the introduction of Christianity, Old Winter began to be known as Old Christmas, Old Father Christmas, and eventually just Father Christmas. Like I literally said two seconds ago, when humanity's belief in three listed legends mixed together with spiritual energy, the true magical being as Santa Claus was created, physical manifestation of giving, one could say he's like an aspect, right? He initially set up his base of operations in Finland's eastern frontier. He has a magic satchel sack that he stores gifts in, limitless sack with toys and travels the planet via his sleigh. These elves helped him create toys. They were descendants of the light elves of Alfheim, actually. One of the ten realms of Asgard, right? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. World War II, yeah, I know Santa Claus. He's been around for a long time. Nazi dictator Adolf Hitler had Santa Claus captured in the U.S. morale. President Roosevelt actually sent Nick Fury and Captain America Steve Rogers and Bucky Barnes to rescue him. That's funny. These are the panels, right? Yeah, the art. Yeah, I know. It's a super goofy Christmas special, but work with me. They pretty much tell you what I just said to you. <laughs> Santa Claus pops up all over through history. Pretty much teaching some people lessons, kind of like a superhero, like people being selfish or something, things like that. Santa Claus actually had a run-in with a burglar. Crazy, right? Running to different burglars throughout the years. On Christmas Eve one time, Santa Claus actually had a run-in with the X-Men. Cerebro, you know the thing Charles Xavier uses to find people on the planet? The mutant detected computer for the X-Men, basically. Detected the most powerful mutant ever registered in New York's Rockefeller Center. This being was detected by the Brotherhood of Evil mutants known as the blob this whole and stuff like that right this is funny seeing our favorite x-men people celebrate christmas this i love the x-men big old happy family in the mansion right look at the blob are we just going to ignore that the brotherhood had a run in with santa claus like literally the x-men was having issues with the brotherhood even colossus punches the blob right wolverine storm they're all fighting them and then it says an instant later Saints above, they all just disappear. Another illusion, perhaps? She thinks. No way, Storm. My senses tell me they're gone. It would seem your friends left something behind. <laughs> freaking Santa Claus turned them into freaking toys, yo. This dude was able to erase the memories of the mutants of the past hour so they can have a good time and fellowship with each other. And Santa Claus is just kind of cool. He even somehow was able to gift the city with snowfall. Weather manipulation, maybe? Reality warping? You know what I mean? Even though Storm could have technically did this, whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? You entertained by this video so far? Hopefully. You can't be officially a Marvel character if you don't have a comic at least crossing over with probably the most popular Marvel character known as Spider-Man, right? It's only natural. There was this criminal scam beast artist working as a mall Santa. He was asking children where they live so he could deliver their presents. He would then peer at their windows dressed as Santa, duping the kids to let him in. Afterwards, he would just simply loot the house, take all the stuff and all that stuff, not really being a Santa Claus he's taking. Even though Spider-Man eventually encountered him, he has the black suit right here. The fake Santa Claus goes onto the roof, then he encounters the real Santa Claus, which scares him away because he doesn't like his identity being misused. 
Santa Claus has even encountered one of my personal favorite Gamma members, She-Hulk. Even though she is another Hulk, she is totally her own woman and got her own identity. She's not just a complete knockoff. So naturally, I'm going to enjoy this encounter. There was a time Saint used his knowledge of who was naughty and who was nice in the world to become like a detective. Don't ask. Yeah, he actually became a detective. So that was his excuse to be able to work with She-Hulk, a, a lawyer, right? Makes perfect sense. In his role, he was locating some evidence in a murder investigation, chilling with She-Hulk. I gotta admit, I remember reading these. These were some entertaining reads. Sometimes it's nice just to have fun comments, just to sit back and relax too, even if there isn't too much going on, right? Why is Santa Claus so short? Probably because he can shapeshift, maybe? Of course, uh, who wouldn't flirt with sensational She-Hulk, right? She-Hulk is curious about him. She's like, you're not associated with no police. He wants to have breakfast. She-Hulk breaking the fourth wall. One of his many abilities, being able to fit anybody down a chimney. Like they wanted to go through a chimney. Fitting. They're still doing like detective stuff just in case you're curious. They really are legitly having Santa Claus in an actual canon story for She-Hulk. Santa Claus says he he might want to get to know each other. Really? He's really trying to flirt with She-Hulk. Can't blame him though. She-Hulk said, I don't date older men. <laughs> he said, what's Hercules? A high school senior? Giving her gifts. He really trying to pull her. Pops up right back in the chimney. Still trying to talk to her. Boom, boom, lawyer stuff. It got so bad, he was flirting with her so bad that Miss Claus actually had to put him in check. Like, yo, St. Nick, go talk to your other girl. Santa Claus is implied to have some pretty decent abilities as well. Has kind of like whatever the plot needs him to have. So one could say reality warping. Some can say story manipulation. There was this time She-Hulk was actually trapped in her She-Hulk form. When she opened her present, and allowed her to temporarily return to a human form to celebrate a normal Christmas. Because Santa Claus is just cool like that. Look at this Christmas setup stuff. I like this. Thanks to Santa Claus present, he opened it. He was able to like give her a wish. Like he can give any kind of present, I guess. Like one could say, oh, I wish to be immortal. You can open the gift that he gives you and then make you immortal or something, right? She opened this, was able to make her normal to enjoy Christmas, like normal, right? Isn't that cool? Marvel Santa Claus can even be argued to be in those powerhouse ranges. Santa's evil counterpart during the X-Men special. Krampus has defeated Ghost Rider. Sleepy lets you know how strong Santa Claus is. It's like an evil version of him. This evil version of Santa Claus even seriously injured a Damon Hellstrom as well something that be respected santa is forever disguising himself like a homeless man in a captain marvel comic he was actually look at the snow you know he, he's around if it's snowing like this you know what i mean this is what i'm talking about disguised as a homeless man captured that type of thing they wanted to use him as like some type of guinea pig or something of that sort not knowing that he was santa but fortunately carol damage was able to break free as you can see this prompted him to reveal himself merry christmas <laughs> Captain Marvel and Santa Claus saved the day. Ho, ho, ho. Got to love it, right? It's funny how Santa is actually a legit character because he keeps reappearing. They were imprisoned by this project known as Pegasus. Santa, I need a favor. Tick. Is Carol? I'm not going to lie. This is so satisfying to see. Merry Christmas celebration. One can say it's like fireworks. Of course, you got to have Santa Claus interact with the people that break the fourth wall the most, like She-Hulk and now Deadpool, two people that like to talk to the audience as we're reading. Perfect for a gag type of ish character like Santa Claus. After not receiving any presents, a group of kids actually took the time to hire Deadpool to kill Santa Claus. This dude, Deadpool, actually traveled to the North Pole to go kill Santa Claus legitly. Like, really, Deadpool? And this is, uh, yeah, fights Deadpool. Like, Santa Claus and Deadpool, they have a fight legitly, right? Plot twist. It actually turned out to be an evil elf who was actually stopping the prison from going out. So it wasn't Santa Claus being a butthole to kids. You know what I mean? Perfect way to see it, right? So when it comes to Santa Claus, based on all this stuff, I would say these are his powers and abilities in Marvel, right? He seems to have the ability of longevity, the ability to fit himself and others through any chimney like he did with She-Hulk. Levitate up a chimney somehow, even if somebody can't fit through it. Alter his appearance, make himself look shorter, taller, bigger, smaller, younger. He seems he can give people with presents that can kind of grant their wishes, kind of like some wish granting ability type stuff. That's why I say magical, reality warping ish or kind of go hand in hand. His sleigh standard gear allows him to travel across the planet his elves are like descendants of the light elves of asgard's of alheim can live for like two tons but who really knows the limitations of santa claus one could say he's a concept type of being in marvel because he only came into existence because of belief and he like he's an entity like he shouldn't even technically be here the beings he was based off of were actual real people. People's belief in the actual fantasy world actually made him real in Marvel. But that's none of my business. Hope you guys enjoyed this. But wait, you know how Luke Cage always says, sweet Christmas? This totally fits that situation. He actually helped Iron Fist and Luke Cage battle demons. Sweet Christmas.
Let's be honest, Danny Rand and Luke Cage's relationship is just awesome because they seem so different and you wouldn't guess two guys like this would be like best friends and hang together. But Luke Cage is more in the streetish, urbanish, if that makes sense. But Iron Fist is kind of like martial arts, meditation, Doctor Strange vibe-ish, mystical nature-ish, if that makes sense. A demon, as you can see, they literally fight a demon together. Tell me that is not entertaining. Being able to hold their ground. Yeah, that's a demon. He comes to the rescue. Santa Claus, teamwork. Krampus, this powerful demon. Santa Claus takes care of him. Seems to have a pretty decent amount of attack power to be able to hurt something or take down something. This demon has enough attack power to take attacks from Luke Cage and Iron Fist himself, but Santa Claus is able to hit him hard enough to take him out or finish him off. Show him he has to have at least comparable attack power to this. Hundreds of tons of force at least. Just having a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed the Christmas time though. But this is more of a fun video than anything. How did you guys enjoy this little feat run? Did you know Marvel Santa Claus was this powerful? Better yet, did you know that he was actually a serious character in Marvel? Like, he's legit a character in Marvel. But that's none of my business. Post your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what did you give for Christmas? What kind of gifts did you get for Christmas? How's your Christmas going? Is it snowing where you're at? Whoever may be watching this, you might not be watching this on Christmas time, but what did you get for your past Christmas time? Or what did you give? Has it ever snowed on your Christmas time? If you're not watching this during Christmas time, welcome to the channel and check out my other seriously toned down videos. Like, I'm seriously analyzing characters. Post your comments down below and check out those playlists. Can't say that enough.